Hello, Internet, and welcome to my first ever foray into the realms of video game commentary. I'm your master of ceremonies, Mr. Nibs. Don't quite know where the name came from, don't quite care. I've stuck with it all these years, and I'm sticking with it now. The first game on our possibly long, prosperous, probably not because I'm a lazy son of a bitch, Journey is Fuel, an open world, a post-apocalyptic driving thingamajig, where after the apocalypse happened, some evil little midget went around putting super glue on everybody's asses so that they would stick to the next vehicle they sat in, and now they have to drive those vehicles for eternity until they die or the world explodes. Whichever one comes first, although I'm pretty sure the midget is dead, because if he was still alive, I'm not sure where I'm going with this train of thought. I'll figure it out later. I've had a very bad night. Give me some, give me a break. I'm tired. Anyway, you might notice in the bottom right corner, taking a drink. That my scores seem a little bit disparate. Why is that? Because I'm a cheating son of a bitch. This is how I get my kicks. I just wanted to drive around and be a bit of a derp for a while, so enjoy it. Also, you might notice in the background a few weird noises. Notably, hissing from my microphone. That is because of feedback on... I've got Cyborg Freak 5 headphones. They don't support drivers for that anymore. Uh, so I, I don't know what to do. And it might be the case. And I've tried all my USBs and that doesn't work either. Also, my chair is squeaky as balls. Oh, that was a mouthful. Anyway, shall we continue? We are currently at Dry Riggs. For those of you who can read, well done. Ah, loading screen. Telling us the name of the game again for some inexplicable reason. And the sun that's detonated. So, here we are. As you can tell, it is rather an impressive looking affair. Although, apart from scan lines, which you cannot see. Eh, besides that, here is our character. He is douchey, is he not? He has tribal tattoos, the mark of the douche. And what's up with that helmet? I mean, just look at it. If if you hit the ground hard enough and that top bit shattered, your eyeballs would be lacerated and that would be unpleasant for you. And he is getting rather bored, apparently. Well, excuse me for not acquiescing to your desert. Stop inspecting your crotch. Yes, I know your teeth. I know you're bored. But you're on a bike, you're in a post-apocalyptic world, you cannot get off your bike without a suitable enough jolt, let's fucking go already. That does not sound healthy. I know that's how uh, off-road bikes are... Ooh. Hello! We are friends, are we not? No, we're not friends, apparently. They repelled me. What? I never understood. What is it with post-apocalyptic things and then they just stick cutlery to everything? Surely people will be able to steal a pair of jeans. <coughs> also, it, I'm not sure where this is supposed to be, because you go through desert, tundra, woodland, and just desolate nothingness. What part of the world has that within... This is probably like a hundred miles or some shit, because uh, if any of you have watched the Nerdcubed video on fuel, you'll know that the Just Cause 2 map fits up in there, and Just Cause 2 is about... 200 kilometers across. So, yeah, this place is pretty damn large. Anyway, enough waffling from me. We need to go find some trees or something to crash into. Why? Well, because it's the internet. And the internet, as we all know, is a sadist. Wow, bounce, bounce. The internet is a sadist which loves to watch people fail miserably and painfully in a variety of hilarious ways. Although, nobody ever actually just decides to go, Hmm, that guy's hurt himself pretty badly. I should help him. Nope, first thing is, for the lols. And I know, your guy on the bike, oh, fuck it. Your guy on the bike, he does these little, like, jump, flippy, move, shit things whenever he flies up. Which annoys me, because, oh, goodbye, bike! Ah, that little logo there. The decapitated head of his previous clone. The only thing that was remain that remained of him. His head was lacerated by his helmet. It came off, it rolled away. Some bastard picked him up and is now using him as a hood ornament. 
well, at least you can know that clone number 83625 is having a nice time going around this post-apocalyptic wasteland on the hood of some crazy bastard's truck. Fun, is it not? Ah, what the fuck? I, I think this game has a very... Okay. <laughs> what? I grinded up it and died. Was there like some sort of invisible alien laser that just shot me as I got up to the top? Apologies for the jump cut, but for some reason my computer went, Nope, we are not playing this anymore. But we're back, apparently. And I'm still driving through woodland and forest. Because... Bounce? Earth doesn't bounce like that. That was a solid stone. I should have crashed into that and died horribly. That's... that. This tree is flat! This tree is a cuboid! Yeah, geometry, it's geometry class all over again. Ow. And I dislike it immensely. No, no, stay away from me. I do not wish to learn about the rhombus. The rhombus, it haunts my nightmares and you are reminiscent of them in woodland form. <coughs> anyway, that's enough about my traumatic childhood experiences. I'm pretty sure that dude now has a buzz cut. Even though he has a helmet up. on. Right, here's one thing that does annoy me about the game. <laughs> See this bush? This bush is solid if you hit it at high enough speed. Also, apparently there was some sort of... The post-apocalyptic, it didn't just kill everyone. Well, most people. It also turned most tree... Not... Leaves into forward-facing pixels and most branches into flat vertices, which is very, very bizarre. It's like, I am currently in this bush, I am one with this bush, I am one with nature, but I'm on a bike, so fuck you, nature. I'm running off the power of explosions and dead dinosaurs. It's fun. Oh, another beautiful thing. Oh, wait, nope. It's apparently if you go fast enough, you can go through those things, but I don't really want to test that out yet. I'll probably end up unwittingly testing it out later on, but I don't know. Wee! <coughs> ah, I should probably stop smoking. Uh, see? If you did that and you fucked up... He's just been decapitated, but... <laughs> All momentum is lost through the power of this tree! No wonder the universe... No wonder this world died. The trees have the power to cancel gravity. Maybe all these people are just wearing really heavy boots. Oh no wait, that wouldn't matter because there's no gravity and everybody else just floated away and they're apparently immune to the effects. That's just pure conjecture on my part, but it's fun. It's fun coming up with weird shit to do in these games. Because at the moment, if I just stood here and went, This is driving. I am driving. I have turned poorly. I crashed into that thing. Oh, the futility of life. The futility of life is now within me. Oh, I am still alive. Great. I get to continue this critical existence. No, that's not fun. That would just be me driving along, driving for a good few hours, talking about, talking much ado about nothing. In order to sound like a pretentious little wanker. Wee! Oh, I love bouncing. Boy. Boy. It's a pogo stick. A pogo stick bred with the bike. And there was an engine block involved. It was an interesting night, and none of them wore a condom because people don't actually create condoms for inanimate objects. And so this was the unholy union of that coupling. A bike that bounces beautifully, bountifully, while boinging across the great... Uh, well, this isn't America. It feels reminiscent of America, but it isn't. So let's call it... Bouncy, bouncy, Rocco Borlo land. Yes, that's very succinct, is it not? Whee! Ah, trees, you are the death of me, literally. Besides the fact that you keep cutting my heads off, you bounce me across. I mean, look at this guy, he just goes boing. <coughs> I'm pretty sure this guy is a robot. He's either a robot or he has no emotion besides blind anger and gallows humor as most generic white males in video games these days. 
because bouncing off that, I could see his elbow fly into it. He'd come out, and it would look like he merged with Mother Nature. Mother Nature just jizzed all over his arm. And... Oh, that wasn't as far as I thought it was. I thought that was a fucking cliff. That would have been unpleasant, but funny. I don't know, I'm just looking for shit to do. Okay, you, what killed me? This! This fucking thing killed me! Look at it, it is dead! Oh, man. Ugh. And yet somehow it managed to kill me. Right. Conservation of mass, people, and physics. I know saying that is probably going to get me in trouble with some of the science buffs out there, but fuck it. I'm going for humorous ap appeal. You know? This is stream of consciousness bullshit. I'm not controlling what's coming out of my mouth. My brain is controlling what's coming out of my mouth. If it's verbal diarrhea, enjoy! Because I don't have the editing skills capable to be able to make a nicely cut video to stick together. This is my first foray out there. I have not dropped money on it. Excuse me. Well, now that that's out of the way. Hello to those of you just joining us. Uh, that doesn't make much sense considering we're on YouTube. Anyway, uh, this is getting slightly dreary now. We need to find something else to destroy. Right. Oh, God, no wonder it's dreary. It's all the same. <coughs> um, I apologize for that. What's this? Is this a mountainous region, or...? I don't know, but let's go check it out anyway. Uh, the closest point is uh, there. Donington Cave. Oh. Oh, I get terrible cotton mouth when I talk. Oh, so now the helicopter brings me in. Previously, it just teleported me right there. Now the helicopter actually brings me in, and my car has turned into a smoke bomb. Just drop me off, asshole. Look at it! One of the red arrows is gonna come down, think I'm think of a fucking landing strip and then go and turn my head concave. Whee! Just Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Ooh, that's pretty. Is this just a forest fire? Because this place doesn't really look very warm. Yay for physics that don't really seem to work. That was not a rampable surface. <coughs> That was a tree that was on fo Wait a minute, is all this grey shit just burning forestry? And I'm going in the wrong direction, turn around, turn around and go. So, all of this grey shit is just burning forestry? Do you think if I just left it alone it would just keep on burning and burning and burning? Or do you think the game is smart enough to figure out that trees aren't going to burn for that long anyway? I'm making a lovely little fire in the night sky. I will light you all up. The world is doomed, doomed. So I might as well have some pyromaniac fun while I'm at it. Un momento, my dogs are going slightly ballistic. My apologies for that distraction, but my dogs are fairly loud and this microphone is really, really sensitive. Whee! I, oh man, that's one thing this game missed out on the chance to do. Is Put some form of skate park into it. Oh, that would have been tremendous fun to play with. Just driving up and down and up and down the hard part. See how, how far you can go and then eventually get sent into orbit. You will become the next challenger too. Yes, that's right. Your floating helpless body up there strapped to your bike. People will fly up there eventually in the future. Attach bits and pieces to you. Hello, you have seemed to have stuck Pac-Man to your face. <coughs> Strap various bits and bobs to you, and you will become known as the man who became the satellite of the world. Oh, that was that was utterly unexpected. Thank you, brain. I know I smoke a lot, but Jesus, even that's a bit much. Seriously, look at them. They look like they've stuck. Pac-Man power pellets to their face. They've just gone into Maya, just got the flattest texture they could find, gone boop, and then stuck a light emitter onto it. That's lazy. But if they can still see... 
You killed me. Mother Nature, why did you kill me? I know I'm currently burning up your dead children to power my motorcycle, but that doesn't mean you should get Larry. No. It means you should be... Mm, yes. No. It means you should be trying to care for the be... Wait a minute, you can't care for us because we're currently killing the planet. What the fuck? Well, at least my dude is clean now. <laughs> he drowned. Suddenly, he cannot swim. That's right. He's so damn muscly. He drowned. And you laugh. You laugh knowing that he died. For your entertainment! But fuck it, we've got more clones. You know, we can deal with that. I'm just looking for something to jump off now, because I'm actually coming to the end of my uh, recording time, which is a little bit weird. So, um, we're just going to head here, and uh, we're going to have uh, a nice ending, I hope. Like I said, hope. Not no. Right, where's the map? So I'm currently heading that direction. Wonderbar. Is that... wait. Has this thing put me on the wrong side or something? Nope. Goodbye, cruel world! We had some good times, face. Goodbye, face! Oh, wait. Well, that was satisfying. And now, on the face of that tremendous success, I will drive out to the sunset and bid you a fond farewell. Goodbye!